Good evening from the 19th annual Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival. On behalf of the Philadelphia Sunday Sun, I am Andrea Lawful Sanders, and it gives me great pleasure to have sitting beside me the international president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, Incorporated, and she's also the president of Tennessee University. Oh, the Tennessee State. Tennessee State University. We're just going to get that right because this sister right here is doing all the things. Good evening, Madame. How are you? Oh, this is wonderful. I'm so happy to be here. It's an honor to be here to have a, a film in this festival right here in Martha's Vineyard with such a great history of this, this place of where uh, free black people would come in the 1800s. And so we're just so happy that we could be a part of this. So, you know, I have many friends in Philadelphia that are AKAs. They're going to turn over when they see me talking to you. <laughs> so you came here specifically to see the film 20 Pearls, correct? That's right. We have a panel, and they ask if I would be a part of the panel. So I said yes, because I think the film is so uh, incredible that uh, I was happy to share the stories and to share about the film, Twenty Pearls, the story of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So as the international president now of Alpha Kappa Alpha Inc uh, Sorority Incorporated, what, does the, what is the significance of the film you think now with all of this going on? I have never seen this parking lot so full in all the years we have been coming to this film festival. These women came and kept coming and kept coming. Well, is is most significant because we have to tell our history. We have to tell the story. We have to tell our own history. We're left out too many times from not just black history but American history. And so we need to let the world know the achievements of Alpha Kappa Alpha, the achievements of the Divine Nine organization, all the black Greek that are fraternal sororities. Just like they know that that uh, uh, Steve uh, Basil I mean, I'm sorry, Jeff Basil created uh, Amazon. Just like they know that Steve Jobs created Apple, they need to know that nine black women on the campus of Howard University made one decision to change the world. So that is significant for us to know that and to spread that, the accomplishments of black people, black history, the things we've done you know, during the civil rights movement, the things we've done in the educational thing, how we got together last summer and last fall and galvanized and organized and put together a strategy to get that vote out so that we could elect the first black woman vice president of the United States. And it wasn't just Alpha Kappa Alpha, it was the entire Divine Nine, the other Greek led organizations, I mean, other uh, women's organizations. We, we did this, and so we're just so happy that we can come and show what we did through a film the history of, of, of the civil rights and the role Alpha Kappa Alpha played in that history. Oh, which is it's, it's so exciting and it's so wonderful, and I'm just honored. I'm honored to serve as, as a CEO and a president during this time. You know, this is an amazing time period for African Americans. I have one last question for you, and it is this. What is the message that you have for black women today, not just members of Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority? What is the message that you have for us all? Stay on course. You know, develop your skill set. Be your best set, and, and if you've already, if you haven't already started, start now. If you've already gotten in, in into your game, step it up, because we need you. We need you to climb to the top of your professions. It's not enough just to be there. You have to be at the top and have a skill set that they need. I mean, it doesn't make sense to go to school for four years and then to graduate school and get a doctorate or a law, and and you don't and, and you can't present a skill set that someone needs that they're going to employ, or you're going to go into business for yourself so step up your game step it up and rise to the top Wait, work your way to the top now don't just stop you know <laughs> there's no such thing as stopping quitting or being satisfied it's always just keep climbing higher and higher what's that song we were saying growing up every round goes higher higher yes. yeah <laughs> so that's where we are that's why i say black women just yeah. keep going dr glenda glover international president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, president and CEO of Tennessee State University. Did I get that right? Yes, I got that right. I am in, in, in Nashville, Tennessee, a place I'm driving through in about 10 days. I drive across the country and do filming. 
So, yes, yeah, so I may have to stop at Tennessee State. School starts when? School starts on Monday morning. <laughs> well, we will be certain to knock on your door. Okay, okay. So we will let you go. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. All right, bye-bye. Good evening from the 19th annual Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival. On behalf of the Philadelphia Sunday Sun, I am Andrea Lawful Sanders, and today we have the director of the film 20 Pearls. If you look around, uh, Nia Ma will show you some of that footage. The AKAs Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is out here in stupendous numbers. This is the director. Tell everyone your name. Hi, my name is Deborah Riley Draper. I'm the writer, director of 20 Pearls, and of course our sorority has deep connections to Philadelphia because our founder, Ethel Hedgeman Lau, lived her adult life in Philly. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So can I just tell you, first of all, the necklace. The necklace. My pearls. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. T talk to me about the film because I've not seen the sparking lot so full in all the years that I have been coming to the Martha's Vineyard Film Festival and seen so many ladies and they're gorgeous, gorgeous from the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. Tell us the impetus behind this film. Well, the impetus, impetus is really to center black women. This is a love letter to all black women around the founding of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated because the sorority, 1908, nine black women in college, nine black women in college, only 40 years after African Americans have been emancipated, organized and found a vision to create a sorority that we now know as Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So this does not just impact the members of this sorority, this impacts America. America all the way to the White House right now. Because our Vice President Kamala Harris is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. So listen, what do you think, what, 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 what the impact, you're seeing the impact of it. Were you, were you uh, shocked? Were you thrilled? Tell me how you felt when you saw all these people show up. You know what? The moment when they played Set It Off and Alpha Kappa Alpha Sora started ski weeing around this theater, I was enamored with the love of sisterhood. And I was moved by the fact that stars were saying they put their cars on a ferry and they came and they, they got here in droves and numbers to represent, but also to feel the power of sisterhood and the power of something that they love so deeply and so dearly. And um, for me, that's touching, it's moving. It, it reminds me of why I'm a member of the sorority. And um, it's transformative as a filmmaker to have people watch your work and be moved to tears. I have one last question for you. I'm looking at all this black excellence yes. everywhere. What does it feel like to be a black woman in this time, 2021, in the middle of all the things that we have come through? Understanding now that the Me Too movement, Black Lives Matter, all of that has transpired, and people are now paying closer attention to the gifts and the talents that we've always had and brought to the table and to the excellence we've always had. What does it mean for you now to be someone, a black woman, in this day and time? What it means is to be able to sit next to you in this chair because we are black women together and we are black women with platforms. We're black women communicating, reinforcing and amplifying that we are here and that we're demanding to be heard and to be seen and to be understood um, and that we are not going to take no for an answer either. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for joining us today. I look forward to hearing more from you. And your sister showed up and showed out. amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you to you for covering us as black creators and black people who want to make things. We need our black journalists to ensure everyone knows what we're doing. So thank you for that. You're quite welcome. And no one does it like we do. <laughs> like my NABJ people. <laughs> You're yes. absolutely right. We will see you soon. Thank you so much. And congratulations again, okay? You. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Live from the... Good evening from the 19th annual Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival. On behalf of the Philadelphia Sunday Sun, I am Andrea Lawful Sanders. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you today Miss Universe 2019 from Ireland, Fig. Oh my gosh. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. So not only are you Miss Universe 2019 from Ireland, tell everyone what you just shared with us. <laughs> In 2019, I became the first woman of color, the first black woman to represent Ireland at Miss Universe. Unbelievable. I don't know what year we're in. It's that this stuff is still happening. So, and also you're a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Yes, yes, I am. A very proud member. Yes. So, what brought you here today, as if I don't know? <laughs> so, today was the screening of 20 Pearls, which is the documentary about Alpha Kappa Alpha. And I became a member in fall of 2012 at the Mu Delta chapter uh, in Washington, D.C., at George Washington University. Oh my gosh, so you've been here for a while. Let me ask you this, what was your impression of the film? How did you feel going in? And what did you feel as it was happening? And what do you feel coming out of the film? You look so exuberant. I, no, I'm so delighted because this is, I think, my fifth time seeing the film. Um, because I, one, I knew that I was moderating today's uh, conversation afterwards. And um, I wanted to make sure I was prepared, but also because I'm in the film. And so I wanted to see it and share it with family members. So that was really special. I mean, I mean, it's, it's such a story, and being able to be a part of Alpha Kappa's, Alpha Kappa Alpha's legacy is just so phenomenal. Um, I, I was almost in tears again watching the film. That's how powerful the story and the narrative is, seeing all the women that have come before us, the things that they have gone through. It is just so, it's just so transcendent, and um, I'm, I'm just delighted to be here. It's a phenomenal thing. You said something that struck me. You said to watch all the things that you have gone through as women, that we've all gone through as women, and to see where we are today. What do you think about where we are today as black women and women of color? You know, in terms of where we were, we have come a long way. We have come a long way. But also, you know, my, I'm, I work in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And I also, through my experiences as an engineer, uh, as a science correspondent, I've seen all of the work that we need to do, especially for women of color. The, my field in, in technology and engineering, there are so few women that work in this space, women of color, black women that work in this space. So even though we have come so far, I still think that there is a lot of work to do. I'm going to send this interview to my husband, who is a scientist, who's an engineer. Oh, nice. And he's always advocated for brown girls to become a part of this and it has been a trudgery uphill not because the girls are not interested but they're not being asked or they're not being coached into going into those fields we're being told we're not as smart you know and here you are you are as smart you went to George Washington University you are Miss Universe 2019 you moderated this film discussion you're in the film and you're a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority I can't stand it I can't stand it. Congratulations for Thank all you your so success. Much. And it was such a pleasure talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Oh. Goodbye. Bye-bye.